Hey guys, welcome back to another issue of A Diver's Life Tech. Today I'm following up on the Sony A7S III custom white balance design flaw and the solution for dealing with it. I will also detail my experience with Sony should you consider purchasing one of their products. For those who are new to underwater filmmaking, white balance is a mechanism of defining what your neutral color is, white or 18% gray. This is why you see filmmakers with color cards or white fins to establish neutral color for the camera. If it is not that color, your camera is supposed to remove the colors that make preventing it from being that color. Essentially clearing up your water, bringing you closer to the actual colors of the subject you are filming. Adjusting white balance is essential for underwater filming as highlighted in our first Sony a7S III video. As an underwater videographer, you are supposed to capture a new white balance every three meters or when you believe lighting changes. A custom white balance is only set by the videographer. The camera must not change it automatically, ever. I found when filming with the Sony a7S III that it often changed the colors and white balance while filming, even when my depth or lighting did not change. In fact, it frequently got some colors completely wrong. We have a lot of purple sponges in Bonaire, and they would frequently come out blue. It was maddening, especially after spending thousands on our Sony a7S III rig. It made filmmaking very challenging, and often I had to reposition the camera for the colors and lights to get it to be correct. Sometimes that would not even help. Low light conditions exacerbate the problem. You just never knew when the Sony would make these changes. We are going to start by showing you three examples of this failure from my camera. Every time the white balance in color changes, we will sound a beep. I will perform no color grading on this footage, which is filmed in 10-bit color HDR. These first three clips are filmed using the HLG3 Gamma on our Sony a7S III. The first is the purple-blue color issue. Ivana is wearing a purple dive skin and mask. I was filming at night and as you can see the depth is not changing, nor is my distance to Ivana. I am also not changing my light intensity. It starts out with her dive skin and mask being blue. Then it switches to purple. And then back to blue. The Sony design flaw renders the recording useless, so much so that I could not include Ivana in the video. This is the next video of Bonaire's Helma Hooker engine room that I took at night with lights. You will notice that my depth does not change appreciably as I am diving in a wreck. Getting hung up is not an option. The color switch from a rust tint to a green tint. then back to rust. And back to a green tint. This third clip is a low light situation with lights. You can see the orange color change in intensity. This fourth clip is filmed using my friend Chris Thielen's Sony a7S III using the S-Log3 Gamma. Chris filmed these next two clips of Lucia and Zach. Notice no distraction from the sun. I received this response from Sony admitting that they in fact are adjusting the custom white balance and often in doing it based on color reproduction suitable for land. They made two recommendations. The first was to use a different setting called underwater auto white balance. And another time consuming solution involving manually tweaking colors using the C temp filter solution. The second solution has little value in underwater filmmaking as marine life clouds and other factors don't stand still while you're tweaking your color filters. I told them that not having a custom white balance was unacceptable. My SME rep agreed to report this to Japan engineers. He also asked me to send 
him files via WeTransfer, which I paid for. One of these files took five days to send from Bonaire due to the network speeds. At this point, I was recovering from knee surgery, which would give them at least eight weeks to work the problem. I also found another skilled Sony a7S III videographer in Florida to test the solution with their a7S III. I also made some suggestions as to how they could change their firmware to help underwater filmmakers. Their SME claimed he sent these changes off to the Japan engineers. After over two months and my first dive back in the water, I asked where they were on a fix and the Sony engineers refused to respond to me. Basically, no matter how much I was willing to help them through this problem, they appeared to ignore me and just gave me busy work. People doing YouTube channels have to publish content regularly and spending money on gear like this makes me wonder whether to purchase Sony again. There is a silver lining though, and it is indeed underwater auto white balance. Given that custom white balance is unreliable, I switched to using the underwater auto white balance. The big advantage are the colors being accurate. I'm not having to do major white balance adjustments in post, and so far I have not found the color changes uh, as frequently. To switch from custom white balance underwater auto on the Sony a7S III, simply hit the C1 button and scroll up until you see AWB with a fish under it and select it. I'm going to show you some clips using underwater auto. And in each clip, I will show you the transition to the color graded version. This first clip is of a spotted eagle ray. I had to film this with lights off or the eagle would take off when I got close. The colors are spot on and even though I had no lights and the water was filled with siphonophores and the sand was kicked up from these feeding rays. At the tail end of the second ray clip, you will hear a beep where the underwater auto white balance switches. The change is perceptible but tolerable, unlike what is seen with custom white balance. The second two clips are of a green sea turtle launching off the sand to go get some air. I follow the turtle along the way and the white balance was accurate. If there was a color change, it was imperceptible and I am changing depth with the turtle. I am also getting closer filming above and below. <sighs> That's a take. The last clip is of a purple sponge which would often come out blue using the custom white balance on the Sony. It comes out as the accurate violet color under our lights. To summarize, despite what reviewers have been saying about improved custom white balance on the Sony, this design flaw is a non-starter for underwater filmmaking. My recommendation uh, for filmmakers is to switch to the underwater auto white balance and if you are new to using the Sony for underwater video recording, it will save a lot of frustration and wasted time. It is possible that Sony could come out with a fix, but I'm not holding my breath based on their response. Prior to the Sony a7S III, the Sony had problems with underwater white balance on previous cameras. Perhaps the underwater auto white balance will continue to operate well in other situations, and I can get by with underwater auto white balance. Time will tell. People have asked us why other people are not seeing this problem. Great question. I have two channel subscribers that have seen the problem. One was using S-Log3, which I included here. Also, many shoot video in shallow and very clear conditions where you are less likely to notice this, and even less film at night. I create content for a YouTube channel and here regular quality content is very important. I can't always wait for perfect conditions and our viewers want us to take them to places where they typically would not go. In fact, we were the first to film Bonaire's deep wreck Cooper's barge at night. That means pushing these cameras harder than most would. Finally, and most importantly, Sony has confirmed they are changing your custom white balance settings and have provided an alternative solution, which at this point seems acceptable. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when we release more videos. I hope this helps you in your decision making on how to adjust white balance on this camera underwater 
and whether to purchase the Sony A7S III for underwater filmmaking. Thank you for watching.